Hey, I'm Alden, and today I'm talking about um, the most common twin flame myths. Specifically, I picked out three that I um, see that are the most common um, myths about twin flames and um, some, some people, which could be you, and that's totally fine if it is. Uh, who uh, have a belief about their twin flame journey based on uh, misinformation. And I'm gonna leave the one that I think is the juiciest for last, which is number three. So um, to start off with, uh, number one is um, that there's only a set number of twin flames on earth right now. Um, and there's different, you know, there's different kinds of uh, versions of this myth, right? Like, I think I've seen like 1,444, you know, all the fours. I've seen different kinds of twos and fours and ones, combinations of these things. And then there's only like, you know, between a few hundred thousand to a few thousand uh, twin flames on earth right now apparently and maybe you're are, are you one of them you know and then if you are like who's your match who's your twin flame right um so yeah that's that's just not true um i guess luckily or um i'm i mean i'm really glad about this that everyone has a twin flame so even um, in the rare instance, there are um, there are people like uh, Rumi was one of these people. Um, there's a few others, um, but anyway, there there are a few people who have uh, twin flame sets um, that uh, don't have a lover twin flame, except for directly like they they love the divine as like their rom their romantic love as well um and you could really see that like in uh rumi's poetry and how though he was able to share romantic love perfectly with everyone in a way that they uh that we still understand very well today he's like one of the best-selling poets right still today it's incredible um and uh so yeah Aside from that, and then there's also um, Jeff and Shalia, I'll say, and Grace, uh, their daughter. Um, and so that's another twin flame set, right? But yeah, um, aside from, from this very, very rare instance that's um, very unlikely you, um, there, you have a romantic counterpart person and one of you is the divine masculine in your union, and one of you is the divine feminine in your union. And um, so that can look different on the outside for different people. And um, so that's just fine. It, it's, um, it's really about, you know, what is on the inside that uh, counts and um, coming home to uh, the truth of how God created you to be. Um, and so the, the more in touch you are with your true self, the easier it is for your twin flame to, um, like to be attracted into your life and, uh, for you to attract twin flame union as well. So, um, again, everyone has a twin flame, all of the billions of people on this planet. And then, um, there is a divine masculine and a divine feminine. Um, for every uh, romantic twin flame pair. And uh, that should feel really, really good to you because it means that you have a twin flame. It means that if your twin flame is with someone else, that that someone else person has their own twin flame. So by you, um, you know, uh, what do I wanna say, claiming your, your ultimate lover claiming your twin flame and however that like goes down, um, you don't have to worry because like, yeah, everyone has a, a divine counterpart, but they may not choose to necessarily, um, you know, be with that person or they might be, some people are with their twin flames and have no idea, but they feel some kind of connection there. 
Um, some people might have, you know, some kind of uh, soulmate that they're, um, they feel like they're vibing really well with and they don't know who their twin flame is or they're numbed out to it and so they stay with their soulmate. Some people might mistake that they're, um, that they're with their twin flame when they're not. Uh, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different things, you know, like I could go on and on, I think, but you probably get the idea, um, about how, uh, this works. So the next myth, this really brings me into the next myth, which you might be wondering at this point, if you don't know, and that is, um, you know, that there can, that you can have more than one twin flame romantic lover. Uh, this isn't as common as a, a myth, I, I think, but I think that it's a misconception or something that's in the back of people's minds if they're not sure, because some people might have strong connections with uh, more than one person that they feel like they have feelings for. Um, that's possible, or you might be confused about something there, or someone else might be, you might... Um, think that having, like, what's wrong with having multiple partners, uh, multiple romantic partners, um, you know, can't you have that deep kind of love for more than one person? And this also plays off of the idea that, like, it's fine to, you know, kind of settle for your soulmate or settle for a karmic partner when you are um, aware of your twin flame and on your twin flame journey. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's not the best highest, it's not in your highest interest to do so. So, you know, if there's lessons that you need to learn there or something, um, well then you're going to learn them, you know, however that plays out for you and probably through some contrast because it doesn't really actually feel good to try to be in a union with someone that you're not meant to be in union with so that becomes a relationship and at some point a codependent relationship and at some point um even if it takes uh, more than one lifetime at some point you will vibe away from someone who is not your twin flame and so all of that, that work that you put in to that relationship um it, it's not going to really yield anything through that relationship. However, love is never lost, right? So the love that you truly invest, um, and when you're, when you're uh, led by your heart into a relationship because you're not sure who, who this person is, maybe they're your twin flame, maybe you don't know about twin flames, and um, now you do, or whatever it is, you know, if you're following your heart and you're truly investing you know, as as best you can into love, like that always um, yields more love to you. So there's a difference there between that and then um, seeing the truth, not liking um, the truth of what you truly feel, um, you know, and somehow denying your feelings. Um, so, because denying your feelings doesn't actually work, right? So you end up not feeling very good somewhere um, and so yeah it's uh, it's safe to just understand that you have one romantic twin flame that you are uh, truly designed to be with and you are one consciousness with um, with this person and a lot of people are obviously not with their twin flames and they're not on the twin flame journey actively and that is perfectly okay. You never need to try to, um, you know, force anyone or try to enlighten people if they don't want the information, uh, you know, including your friends and family, uh, but it's also okay to be you and be on your journey and share that. And if people don't uh, don't like something about that, it's okay to um, not leak your energy into that relationship in a way where you're having to somehow deny um, who you are, kind of, you know, um, change yourself in a way that's not authentic in order to operate in some kind of a relationship with this other person, if they be a family member or, um, you know, friend or whatever it is. 
uh, all you need to do is choose love and see if they're also choosing love they'll you know they'll vibe up with you and it's okay you know if twin flames aren't the topic of conversation and even you even if you're with your twin flame like you know maybe uh, your family is very loving and supportive but they don't really care too much about the whole twin flame thing but they're not you know they're also not off put by it you don't need to net like you know um you don't need to feel the need to overemphasize uh your what's going on for you you can relate to people with where they're at as long as they're um choosing uh to relate to you in a loving way like you know and it feels good truly and at some point that can change for you know better or for worse and um, a relationship always does keep changing and growing and going deeper so you know you'll see how that goes too um, with with the people as you go deeper into your twin flame journey um, and same thing too with you know soulmate or a karmic like if you if you really are very certain about you know the feelings that you have towards this person are just surface level or there is you really feel uh that your twin flame you know you feel like you know who your twin flame is you really uh feel this oneness deep in your um deepest parts of your soul with this person then um then it's safe to release you know these other people as being possible like love interests and that's really going to help you uh, not leak your energy there and hopefully you know these people understand and if not it's safe to put a boundary there too that's in your best interest and some people are more um tempted than others in certain ways right so it's also a good idea to um be aware of your weaknesses and um you know create uh what i want to say like scaffolding for yourself so that you can go grow strong in those places and sometimes that scaffolding does mean like boundaries somewhere where you later can you know see like if this family member is open to a little to actually having a relationship later down the road if you can't talk to them right now for instance um usually that doesn't work so well with someone who you uh once felt romantic towards or had a long-term relationship with or anything in between um it's it's generally like um, not a good idea to continue any kind of relationship with that person even if it's just friendship um, if you're actually like seeking twin flame union and harmony in your union with your twin flame um, yeah you you really want to invest in that and that's you know all that you want to invest in and that's what will yield your results is like true commitment there and it doesn't mean like it needs to look really, I don't know, fancy on the outside. It's fine to just uh, even build and and really recommended to build um, friendship, you know? So build off of um, what you already have with your twin flame. You don't need to try to get them to admit that they're your twin flame. You don't need to try to um, get them to see things the way you see them. You don't need to try to make them, you know, um, join Twin Flame Ascension School with you if you choose to do that, which I do recommend very much. Um, and the links are down below, you know, if you want to take a look um, at that, or maybe you're already watching classes, good for you. Um, but yeah, it's not to say like, if your twin flame is up for it, like, oh my God, that's amazing, right? Like that really is. It's awesome to like, uh, have that kind of mutual, like, uh, synergy in your union in that place. But you might be the one holding down, um, that, uh, that energy in your union and your twin flame might be focusing on other things. and. Remember, God, uh, the divine source, whatever you want to say, like moves through your twin flame perfectly, just as uh, God moves through you perfectly. So you and your twin flame are always loving each other just with where you're at, and you're always mirroring each other. So as you work through your upsets, then 
the next thing's going to get near to you. Um, and that brings me to the third myth uh, that I would like to debunk. And I think it's the juiciest and I think it's the most common myth and one that kind of makes me laugh and well, I've been guilty of it too. Um, but it's uh, that your twin flame is not as awakened as you are. Um, and when will the divine masculine wake up, right? Or, or it could be the divine feminine. Um, but yeah, when will your twin flame wake the F up and uh, realize that they are your twin flame and write you, you know, a big love note with puffy paint that says, I love you twin flame um, with a heart doily and ring your doorbell and bring it to you and, you know, then like, cook you, uh, you know, cook you breakfast, bring it to you, whatever. You know, that sounds really nice, but um, it's not generally the way things go. And it's not to say that, you know, that could never happen, but don't, uh, yeah, don't like, don't expect that, especially if that's not something you're giving to yourself. You're never gonna get anything from your twin flame that you're not already open to receiving and the way to open to receiving is to uh, attune yourself to that place within where you're loving there and when you're loving in a certain place it means you're able to give love and receive love in that place um and that's you know should be like your whole heart should be able to give and receive love and it doesn't always mean you need to have an open heart to everyone and everything right like it's natural for your um, heart chakra to uh, not be open all of the time, just like breathing. Um, and um, yeah, so it is uh, safe to just accept that and, um, and accept that your twin flame is at where they are at. Like, they may uh, have studied meditation and other kinds of really wonderful things about spirituality, but they may not even want to talk to you. They may have you blocked. Um, that doesn't mean that they are not um, uh, aw awakened. Uh, that actually just means, you know, they're focusing on whatever they're being called to focus on and you're being, uh, you're focusing on what you're called to focus on. And if something is in your awareness, that means it's yours to do. It's never someone else's thing to do what you're aware of is your thing to do. Like, you're aware that this person is your twin flame and if it's later revealed down the road that it's a false twin flame well just you know follow your guidance follow your heart um however that's leading you and um and yeah if you're really 100 percent certain well great so so go all in you know either way go all in on your twin flame journey and um and you you do the work it's uh yeah, it's work. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, but would you rather uh, spend, like, your energy uh, not actually spending it and investing in yourself, which is what you're doing by doing the work and loving yourself, or would you rather spend your energy by leaking it and, um, you know, essentially running further and further away from your twin flame union, which can always be healed, don't worry, but, like, the further you run, that's further you run away from yourself and the more effort you're gonna put into um yeah loving yourself in those places and um and bringing yourself back you know with the mirror exercise with self-love and um so there's no need to do that so you are the um only one running in truth right like there's no uh there's no like runner chaser game. It might look that way on the outside because there's something within you that um, that you need to heal. And uh, also I wanna say like the other twin flame, it, I mean, there could be a myriad of um, ways this can look. And so I know people wanna argue about this and like say, well, my twin flame isn't even in touch with their emotions. They don't know anything about spirituality. They're completely with some tramp, you know, and and with kids and da 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 da, you know. And then you start like talking 
um, crap about your twin flame anyway, and that's not, like really not not helpful. So you know, if you want to hate on your twin flame, like it's fine to have emotions and express them. And if you're angry, get in touch with that so you can release that and see what you're actually numbing out to underneath. But if you're just gonna like continue in this vicious cycle of feeling this way about your twin flame then you know you're you're not attracting your twin flame to you <laughs> your twin flame's not gonna be like oh yeah you know let's uh let's go hang out with with my twin flame person who's like just you know spewing anger all over the place like and obviously doesn't even like me um how you know how's your twin flame gonna love you there um and it also shows you're not loving yourself. So yeah, it's safe to uh, be mature in this place and see the truth of what's going on and to come to the uh, realization your twin flame is you. And so whatever they're doing and choosing in their life is somehow reflecting something you're doing and choosing in your life. And the more you heal the separation there, the easier it is to just come completely together. Doesn't mean, you know, you just merge into like a teardrop and like evaporate into the sky but it means that you really work um, in perfect union together as you clear all those blocks and it feels really good. Um, so yeah, uh, and it could also be like another, a last example I'll just give, you know, to really I think like type the picture is, it could be that your twin flame is really focused on their life purpose and career um, and so they could be doing really well in that arena, you know, making uh, good money and stuff. And maybe you're over here kind of struggling, doing your spiritual work, but you're really, you're mastering something and they're mastering something. And both things are divine and they're the same, um, you know, they're vibrating at the same level. And so when you come together, you can uh, bring your part and they can bring their part and then you've got like, you know, super powerhouse, but you have to recognize that within you, what you're doing and recognize that within them instead of denying that what uh, they're doing, that something that they're doing is um, is helpful to the foundation of, of your union. So you just always want to practice radical compassion and non-attachment to, um, you know, to outer circumstances so that you can really love yourself completely on the inside, which is um, not separate from your outer reality anyway. So it will, it will show you, you know, you'll always be pointed to the next thing. So yeah, those, those are the three um, top twin flame myths. Uh, demystified so i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, you can check out the links below i offer um coaching uh for your twin flame journey and i offer readings um including astrology readings and other um other great card readings and stuff and um there's also other resources for twin flames and please like and share and uh, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day and um, best to you on your twin flame journey. Take care. Bye.